This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at transesterification. The energy content of vegetable oils is similar to that of diesel. However, vegetable oils cannot be used as fuels in unmodified diesel engines as they are too viscous. This is due to their high molar mass. Vegetable oils are composed of triglycerides. A triglyceride is composed of a glycerol backbone, which we can see here, and three fatty acids. Triglycerides are produced in condensation reactions between a molecule of glycerol and three fatty acids. So here on the left we have a molecule of glycerol which has the IUPAC name propane 123 triol On the right we have a fatty acid molecule which has a long hydrocarbon chain with a carboxyl group on one end. Vegetable oil can be converted into a usable fuel, known as biodiesel, in a transesterification reaction. In a transesterification reaction, the triglycerides in the vegetable oil react with alcohol, in this case it's methanol, in the presence of a strong base such as sodium hydroxide to form glycerol and methyl ester. The methyl ester is also known as biodiesel. In the reaction, an excess of alcohol is used to drive the position of equilibrium to the right in favour of the products. And here we have the general equation for the reaction. Next, we'll compare a biodiesel molecule with a diesel molecule. As you can see, they are both quite similar, each consisting of about 16 carbon atoms. However, the biodiesel molecule has an ester group, which is bonded to a methyl group, hence the name methyl ester. The three alkyl ester molecules produced have similar energy content to the triglyceride, but are less viscous due to their lower molar mass and are therefore suitable for use in diesel engines. Biodiesel for use in diesel engines can be made in a transesterification reaction from waste cooking oils or from crops such as rapeseed oil. Biodiesel is much less toxic and more biodegradable than regular diesel.